LeBron James have proven his value on the court time and time again. People around the world put him in the GOAT conversation, but even if you don't believe this, you'll probably put him in the top 10 on time, easily. Unless, of course, you're Paul Pierce. But there's an area in which LBJ is really different from a lot of other players. The activity off the court. LeBron has always been an amazing philanthrope. Being raised up by a single mother in a poor community, he felt that he had to do something in order to fix the problem of low education that he suffered. He donated lots of money for schools, exhibits, clubs. He also funded his own school, the I Promise. So, there's no way to criticize him about his charitable activities. But LeBron has also been really vocal in social media about certain teams, and this has led someone to ask themselves. Is LeBron kind of a social justice warrior? First of all, let's be clear about the definition. If we look in Wikipedia, we found out this. The SJW, born as a neutral term, is now a pejorative word that stands for someone who has socially progressive view without the knowledge sufficient to discuss the subject, or actually caring about it. So, if we look at LeBron Twitter's and Instagram history, does this definition apply to him? Well, let's see. The first thing that really shows up is the stupidest one. The most thing that LeBron writes about is basketball. I mean, yeah, of course he talks a lot about basketball. That's his job, that's his life. So let's get rid of all that and go for the other posts. Like this, or this, or maybe this, and again this, and this, and that. Do you see where I'm going? Well, LeBron talks a lot about black people, and I mean a lot. Every time there is somewhat of an incident which involves Afro-American guys, is immediately there. It's like it's a freaking teleport guy, just on Twitter. See you next time, Lord Pierce. We're out of here. The Breonna Taylor incident, the Michael Brown shooting, the death of George Floyd, is always there expressing how he feels. But here lies the first difference between LeBron and the social justice warriors. LBJ doesn't speak about everything, is not advocating for transgenders or feminists or civil rights. It's specific, he engages almost exclusively in one battle, the hand of racism against black people. You will think that this is something he's praised for, but actually, this is one of the criticisms he gets more often, that he only cares about civil rights if it involves a black man, and when it doesn't interfere with his money. People always point out the fact that he remained silent on the Hong Kong situation when Morey, the Rockets GM, tweeted in support of the protesters and received a huge backlash from China during the 2020 preseason. If you ask me, I say that LeBron is pretty consistent in this field. As I said, LeBron only speaks out if there's a rational incident in some sort of way. He probably feels that this is the field in which he's kind of involved, since he's black and has grown up in a poor community. Is he right? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, he's kinda right. And kinda wrong. Let's make it more clear. LeBron is highly criticized because he sometimes he speaks in a frightening way. Like here, for example, when he says that black people are hunted down the streets, which is the worst possible way to describe the situation because it creates a lot of fear in Afro-American people, a fear that, some say, may be causing a lot of damage. Recently, with all this focus and activities around the Black Lives Matter movement, LeBron has been more vocal than ever. And sometimes he has made really bold statements. I know that a lot of people will get mad at me for saying this, but 
its way of tweeting kind of reminds me of Donald Trump. I mean, do you see that? The caps lock, the rage, the short sentences and also the same vibe. The fact that those tweets are instant reaction to something. They don't reflect on the event. They don't use numbers of statistics. They just react. And this is, may not be the best for people who trust LeBron. And people who disagree with him have something to attack him. Look at this tweet from Candace Owens, for example. It's about the Jack of Blade shooting, and it's mentioned the knife, the arrest warrant, the resistance against the officers. It doesn't even matter if you agree with Candace or with LeBron on this particular subject. But if you had never even addressed those, let's call it problems, then people will obviously comment you, because it didn't present all the facts. Well, LeBron does just that, and on these days, he gets criticized a lot. Wrong, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. So, what's the conclusion? Is LeBron a social justice warrior? Well, of course not. It's just a guy that deeply cares about what he feels is a huge problem. Maybe the most huge of all. And he does everything in his power to resolve it. As he should. We are in a free country. And if you feel that something is wrong, you have to do something to fix it. And by the way, LeBron has done a lot of remarkable action to try to fix the problems that he sees. So, it's not just about words. On the other hand, we, as fans, must know that LeBron is not a politician. His job is basketball, not journalism. Of course, he's entitled to have his position of things, but we need to remember that those are just that. Opinion from someone who is in no way an expert of the subject. In other words, listen to him as a fan, as a person, even as a role model if you want. But, and this is a big but, we need to realize that famous people are not necessarily informed people. LeBron James' opinion count just as much as ours. He's biased like us, he's wrong like us, he's right like us. If you want news, just go to the news. At least here you can get the facts that... Oh, well, okay, no, no, maybe not. Oof. <sighs>